Hello guys and welcome to the second episode of Clash of Nations. Today we have Italy versus Great Britain. Um, in a 7 vs 7 matchup as always, um, we will have some non 7 vs 7 matchups um, to come soon. But today is 7 vs 7 again, it's the same team like last episode. Um, happens for the reason that we are recording multiple episodes in one session mostly. Um, next episode is in the making, we already recorded it, so um, yeah, we are good with that. We have some more content coming up, um, I hope I can edit it fast enough. I'm sorry this episode didn't come out earlier, um, I was a bit busy with work and I was on holidays, so I couldn't edit much, um, and now this weekend we had divisions, so bear with me, uh, I tried my best, but yeah, um, we are standing good as a fleet, I'm very happy about that, but anyways, that's not the topic of the video. Um, if you enjoyed this video and the project at all, um, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel that you don't miss out on anything. Uh, like I said, there will be more episodes out soon. We are um, constantly recording and planning on new stuff. So if you're interested, as always, a uh, link to my Discord server is in a bio. If you join, type a quick message that you're interested in participating in Clash of Nations. Then I will adjust your role and then we're good to go. So enjoy this video and see you next time. Bye. Whose country are we in? Okay, for the first matchup today, we have Warspite, Repulse, Agincourt, Leander, Sirius, Gallant, and Icarus versus Double Doria, Julio Cesare, Duca de Aosta, uh, Leone, uh, Ad, uh, Avier, and what was it? Uh, Trento, right? Yeah, I think it's Trento. Uh, the screen went by too fast. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, we're playing on Encounter. I just realized I didn't have sounds on. Perfect, now it sounds on. Uh, yeah, we are watching. Seewolf, Hansi Peter, Friese, Tomania, Tim Neverlucky, Martin Dino, and Bram for you for uh, Great Britain and Stanislaus, Iron Blood Eel, Monkey D. Ruffy, Payden. Yeah, Payden. Oh, I was. I spaced out. <laughs> Captain McLean, Palisade, and Zerni um, for the Italy team. What I can tell already is that the games were kind of one-sided, so we try to avoid things like that, but it's not always that easy. Um, for the next episodes, we might try to switch some players if it's possible. Um, what I thought in the first, well, at the first look, when I saw Double Doria and Cesare versus Repulse, Warspite and Agincourt, I was like, hmm, okay. The battleships might have a slight advantage. Repulse is kind of punchy sometimes, at least for me it is. But for Sirius, Leander, Icarus and Gallant, this double Doria is pretty devastating. You have a lot of SAP in the team. And like you can already see here, Palisade is in um, is fighting the Gallant already. And like trying to to area denial top something. Um, and on the other side, the Leone is also trying to do some stuff. It's I'm I'm very thankful for Cerny playing Leone because it's very tough to find a Leone player who who wants to play it and who can play it. Uh, he definitely can play it, um, but he got a slight disadvantage with the ship all in all. We will see that in the battle. Uh, some tops come in here, but ships are dodging it pretty well. And Sirius and Warspite are here and the team together uh, again. Um, like we saw in the last video, in the last episode. If you didn't see it, check it out. Link is in the description. Um, Tomania and Hansi Peter do have a kind of or a very good connection. And, well, in the series and a Warspite together, this might work pretty, pretty well. Now you can see there's the Doom Spare of Torpedoes going in that way. Gallant might take a Torpedo here. Yes, he will take a Torpedo. Flood, but he can repair. And on the other side, the Double Battleship and Cruiser on the Italians are kind of passive. But what we can see is the the uh, British ship as, ships are as well, like... Um, I'm not sure if I check it out soon. I hope so. Maybe. Also, I'm thinking about live commentating next episodes. That might be easier. Um, all in all, so let me know what you think about that. For the next episode, it's still commentated um, after the matches are played, but well, for the next episodes, just let me know. All right. Um, now the Britain, the British, Br Britons. Do we call them Britons? <laughs> the the English, the Englishmen. Are trying to push 
At least it looked like it, yeah. Uh, Martin setting a smoke here. And is dodging the torpedoes. Yep, he is. Leander's going in as well. Is, is he taking the torpedo? No, he's not. Freezer there with the salvo out on the Trento, probably. No, on the Cesare. Okay. Okay. We see it's it's all kind of passive in this first game. And Palace had here annoying the other ships down there. So that's, uh, that's quite good. And these torpedoes, are they hitting something? Nope. Um, Iron Blood is Stormy from the NA server, if you know, if you know them, and kind of, um, kind of jumped in more spontaneously. It was planned uh, that uh, that they joined for the German versus US episode, but uh, yeah, uh, happened that it's not that it didn't work or something. So it's not that bad. If you if you can't play, just send a quick message and it's all fine. We're not mad about that. There were torpedoes running towards the Leone. You can see it here. Hitting one, hitting two, and now the Leon is almost dead, and the Icarus can just, like, finish him with his guns. If he's inclined to do so. Oh, uh, yeah, he's trying. Maybe, come on, can you can you get another shot in? Can you can you get him? Yes, very good. Nice kill on the Leone. Well done. Good torpedoes. And here, now you can see Gallant is torping uh, the Doria and shooting <laughs> at the AVR at the same time. Um, definitely not a problem with multitasking for him here. <laughs> and Sirius is also trying to help out with, uh, the, um, with the Avier. Just, just trying to dodge those torps. And Doria and Duca de Osta are always like switching positions, going for, uh, back and forth. Um, that's kind of interesting. I, I expected them to maybe push in more because, look, the Gallant is almost dead, the Sirius is half health, and what the, uh, what is it? Agincourt, I think, right? No, Agincourt is left. Warspite, what the Warspite? Okay, Warspite is pretty full, but in the beginning, Doria looked better and Duka looked also better, so... Ah, uh, maybe, maybe a push wouldn't have been too bad, but we don't know. There's also the Avia who's trying to help out. And now they're just burning the, the Doria, I think. Let me see what the Salvos do. Yeah, they, they might burn Doria to death. So, the Italians are kind of struggling in this matchup. Um, I don't know what was the problem exactly. I think also some some communication. Um, that's what we're trying to improve, actually, like the communication within the teams. Um, I didn't really pay attention in the first two episodes, unfortunately. I have to admit that. Um, so we're trying to to be a little bit more. I'm transparent about that now, and um, yeah, just just putting people in a team together who are uh, able to speak English and understand English. Um, if they have an English-speaking player like Palisade, for example, here, and Stormy, of course, as well. Um, and I don't know about the voice chats. We have voice chats for each team, and uh, you can you can communicate there for the matches. I don't know if they do it or not. Um, Obviously, I'm not in there, so I can't tell. But you have the chance to do so. Just a quick side note from my side. Gallant is almost dead. Uh, Agincourt got killed as well. So it's it looks kind of kind of even now, but the Italians are not uh, fast enough to get another kill in. Um, if one ship would have survived here, um, they might have gotten the victory. But Trento is also very low. Um, but that's the first win for the British team. So let's take a quick look at the battle details, I think it's called, right? Battle details. Also, I'm sorry, it's it's kind of loading pretty long for me here. <laughs> look who's MVP again. I kind of, I'm kind of not surprised. <laughs> in the first uh, in the first episode, it went like this as well. So let's take a look. Uh, okay, reward details. All right. Warspite on, on the first place, and yeah, this is this is the result. It was a kind of passive game here, but I'm interested to see how the second game went. Let's let's check it out. Okay, for the second match, it's the exact same matchup, so I don't have to to like say something more about that. At least, <laughs> luckily, um, yeah. Let's take a look. Um, we're always playing the same maps, <laughs> and I also I like that I have the Russian sound in because it kind of shows it 
Russian ship. I don't know. Um, we're always playing the same map. So, for three games in a row. And as you know, also if the British team should win this match as well, um, we are also playing a third match, just for entertaining purpose. And that they can't... Uh, or that the other team got a chance to mm, kind of put it on 2-1. If they lose 3-0, it's... It's 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 being like that, but um, they have a chance to to go at least two one and kind of get some better um, statistics for the rewards in the end. Yeah, the Duca is kind of standing there. We, I think he got a, a disconnect or something. no, not a disconnect. The the game crashed. You say it like that. Uh, be again, bear with me. My English is not the best. I'm trying to improve it um, as much as I can, but um, it's it's not the best. I know that, and I'm trying my best here, so bear with me. Alright, tops out again in the direction of the Leone by the Icarus. And Repulse and Icarus kind of got punished here again, um, already. So look at these torpedoes. Might they hit the battleship there? Not if he's going backwards now. Oh, okay, they're running out. Never mind. Well, true. Range is, range is important as well, man. Range is... Uh, important. Oh, the Leander's kind of stuck at the island now, because, like you see, you have Palisade down there, looking at him with torpedoes, probably. And then you have the Cesare and the Trento there, shooting him. So he's kind of in a weird position. Also, the Duca w woke up and is shooting at him. Um, what you can see here is that both Dorias went to one side. Um, I don't know... I, for my part, don't know why the Duca didn't go in with them as well, because if you take a quick look here, you have two Andrea Dorias, you have one Duca, and you have potentially an Aviera as well. So if they just try to get some shots out on the Gallant, and then after that focus the series out, um, they just have the war spite in the way, so that might have been a, a good idea, but I don't know, maybe they communicated it differently. Oh, uh, Stormy got punished there by torpedoes, probably. Uh, gallant, was it the Gallant Doomspear? Probably. So, that that hurt a lot, definitely. Um, let's take a look. The Leona Torps are kind of weird to use, I figured. You have only four, <laughs> four pair, like four torpedoes, and mm, it's not it's not the it's not the greatest. But he's trying his best there. The Doria is already half H HP here. HP. Um, okay. What the fuck am I saying? Anyways. Um, l look at this now. The Gallant Torpedoes are coming in. And is he dodging them? Is is he? Oh no, he's turning in, right? Is, is he taking some of them? Oh, he might take some of the torpedoes. Yes, he's taking torpedoes. Oh, ouch. That hurt pretty bad. Nice torpedoes there by the Gallant. Well done. Now he just has to fight or get past the Doria and then go into the cap. But I'm pretty sure the Duca has some paid some attention on that. Meanwhile, on the other side, Agincourt and Repulse are fighting the Cesare, I think. Yeah, must be the Cesare. And look how low they got the Cesare already. Uh, I mean, yes, it's a tier 5 battleship, but we all know the qualities of the Julio Cesare. So. It's uh, it's interesting to see. Oh, that was a an HE salvo by the Agent Court. Yeah, I, I feel like it's it's kind of tough for the Agent Court also in this match um, because it's in my opinion it's not the best tier five battleship. Definitely not. He's taking some torpedoes there. So, mm, yeah, all right. Oh, Doria went out by Gallant torpedoes. Interesting. And they will most yeah they finished the Cesare here. No, they just have the Leone up there, but. Look at this, they're at the very outside of the map with the Leander just like covering uh, the Javier and the Trento there. So, alright. Interesting, interesting. Tops out on the Agincourt. Oh, and he's taking them, I think, because he's going forwards. Forward. For, 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 forwards. Damn. Time for some English lessons again. Uh, I see I'm, I'm out of practice. <laughs> Uh, Alright, let's see if this torpedoes actually hit the Duca. Most likely not, right? He's dodging, yeah, he's dodging them. But he's getting shot by the Sirius as well. And 
probably by the war spite also. And all the Italian ships are going towards the cap now. Uh, Palisade is turning out again. But they have to be more passive now. I mean, they got the British team kind of low on each ship. Except the war spite. Um, they could take out the Leander. Or the, um, the Sirius probably as well. Gallant. Um, they have the Trento and the Duca there. So they have the power to do so. But on the same time, it's uh, obviously kind of tough for them. Palisade trying to take out the Leander, but oh, he's getting shot pretty bad. His torps won't hit, I'm afraid. Yeah, no, he's not hitting the Leander with torpedoes. I mean, this the sap is pretty good, obviously. Um, also against the armament of the Leander. But look at this. It's like... Uh, not not the best... Best... Like... Shell type, what is it called? The best ammo, I think, um, to shoot at uh, the Leander. But the AG is also not <laughs> way better. If you hit good spots on the Leander, the sap is actually better than the AG. So it was a good choice. He can't do more. Uh, he's healing now, go, uh, going a bit out, torping on oh on the repels. But was by the spotting the torpedoes, and yeah, Palisade is dead. Um, they will take him out here. So let's see if the torpedoes are hitting in time. And if they take him out, actually. Oh, that's a boss bad salvo on the. Okay. Kinda weird salvo. Didn't really hit much. And he, he hit a torpedo on, on Seawolf. Great. Good job. But that's the match. Um, they didn't manage to, to kill a ship of the British team this time. So it's a 2 0 for, for the British team. And we'll take a look at the reward details, is it called? Now I know. <laughs> Perfect. Let's take a quick look. Loading, loading. Alright, Gallant got the MVP, 49k. Nice, nicely done. Repulse also not bad. And on the other side, the Leona worked pretty well. The DDs did very well. Um, Storm Eel here was kind of in, in a tough position, I would say. And Stani couldn't do much as well. Uh, so... Yeah, that's it. Um, let's see the last match and see if the Italians can turn the score to 2-1 or if they lose 3-0. Okay, for the third round, it's still the exact same matchup. <laughs> Nothing changed here. We didn't switch players in the first games, so that's kind of sluggish here. But like I said, for the next games, we will... Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of interested to see what the DDs will do this time. I mean, I know it already, but for you guys, um, take uh, or pay some attention on Palisade in this match. Um, he had an idea that almost worked out, so let's see what he's doing. Um, we can see the British team is playing the same way as before because, well, why not? Um, Duka is standing again, but now moving, all right? Not not too long, or not as long as last time. But now, take a look at Palisade. He's the D, the DD on the right flank, from our perspective. Uh, take, take a look what he's doing, right? We're now watching the left flank, I know, but he's going to the very outside of the map here, and he he will try to cap. It's it's not the worst idea here. I mean, of course, they lose some some potential power because, well, he can't do much in this game. But the idea might work out if they are not paying attention on the British side. So, let's see if that works out. Maybe. Um, Stormy and uh, McLean are going to the island um, again, like they did in the first match. When oh, Martin Dino got kind of punished here. I mean, he got some pretty good torpedoes out in the first match, but here it's ah, uh, it's kind of weird. And he gets shot pretty bad and almost takes a torpedo, but no, he's dodging. A repulse setting back, just just farming probably, together with the edging cord. Um, what is kind of interesting is that it seems like the chaser is going to the other flank, or is he standing? Ah, oh, no, he's standing. All right, so he's trying to get himself out of the situation 
he was in the last match, that he was on the edge of the map where the Trento is standing now and got farmed pretty bad. So, yeah, let's, let's watch what they are doing here. They are taking the Doria to the left flank. Uh, talking about the flanks, I'm always speaking out of the perspective of the blue team here. So, if I say left flank, we mean, from our perspective, the left flank. For their left flank, there's Palisade, obviously, just to clarify. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. Uh, Stormy is, is always sitting on this island and just using his um, front turrets. Um, let's let's what, look, look at Palisade here. He's still undetected. Oh, and McLean is kind of kind of low already. And on the left flank, there's not happening much on the left flank, as it seems. All right, a gallant going in. He he will meet the Doria pretty soon. Um, if he's continuing to sail like that, the Doria is spotted for sure, right? So there's no chance that the gallant is like pushing into his front turrets. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, good torpedoes by Martin Dino again. Again, two torpedo hits on the Leone. Good. Very impressive. Um, all in all, I'm I'm pretty impressed by his DD... Um, with his DD matches uh, in this episode. So, I, I told him after this episode, you should play DD a little bit more often. Maybe you practice a bit and then it goes pretty well. So, oh well. Why not? Um, if we take a look at the... B team here. Um, the first Andrea Doria is very low. Oh, and Cesare and Doria are like bumping into each other. And you see Stani here is, is just tanking the damage and trying to to take some some shots away from his teammates here. But uh, he won't be able to to stand very long against them. Uh, Leander is kind of low as well. Probably got a shot in by by Le by Doria and maybe also something else. I don't know. Interesting for me to see now is that the Trento is on the very top left corner. Um, I'm not sure why, probably because he got two battleships pushing in. And now Palisade arrived at the cap, to say. Uh, Martin Dino going down there to to stop his capping progress. Um, but he's in now. And Leander is also going backwards. So, I'm not going backwards, he's, he's heading to the base again. Palisade here preparing himself for the gunfight against Leander. But like we saw, his torpedoes on the Leone were actually pretty good, so... Yeah, well, pay some good attention, Palisade here. Uh, ooh, well, no. The torpedoes are not hitting. But not bad predicted. Uh, almost hit one here. And like, in a direct gunfight with the Navier, um, the Icarus is obviously not able to do much. Palace had stopped the capping, uh, stopped the points from the blue team here with the caps, but also Bram is going in into the cap, so he will begin to cap soon as well. Uh, Cesare looks like he's not very prepared for that. Um, oh, Icarus might go out here. Yeah, Icarus is out. So it's now just the Leander against <laughs> Palisade again, and we already saw that matchup last game. Um, maybe this time it works a bit better for him. We will see, we will see. He almost managed to cap through. If the Leander didn't decide to go back to the base, um, Palisade would have capped and it would have been over. Uh, but he didn't. Uh, or better to say he did. Um, he did go back to the base and Palisade wasn't able to cap. That's it. Uh, yeah, so let's just watch the Doria pushing, uh, pushing the Gallant here. Already on a fire, and oh, Chisere going out is pretty low. But now they managed to kill the Icarus. Maybe they will also kill the Gallant? Or oh, was it a blind sap shot? Probably. Or was it the secondaries? No, it was the main battery. Ah, uh, okay. That would have been useful now. Oh, there is the main battery. Maybe it was secondaries? I don't know. Oh, he's getting to. Oh, ouch! good torpedoes there. I mean, from that distance, not too bad, but still. Oh, Tomania went out here. They took out the, the series. Interesting. Palace had still sitting in the cap. Uh, Cesare went out. But you see, it's it's a very close game regarding the points. So if the Italians manage to take out another ship in time, 
and um, don't lose Palisade here, then they might actually win. And um, they could, for example, ah, uh, yeah, no, I just want to say they could take out Leander here, but the torpedoes are not even fast enough for the repulse. So if you would have aimed a little bit more ahead of the repulse and sent them earlier, and that would have worked better. Warspite takes the MVP as well, or not as well, again. So let's take a look at the reward details and then after that we will take a quick look at the uh, at the Excel document to see how the matches went for each team MVP wise. There we have Palisade as an MVP in their team. I mean it was a great idea. Um, it just didn't work out because of the Leander. But it was a great idea. So that's it for the games. Uh, let's watch um, let's watch the results. And after that, talk about the next episode. Okay, so this is the end result. Like you see, Italy lost three rounds, England won three rounds. We have MVP wise for the British team, Hansi Peter, Bram for you, and another time Hansi Peter. And for Italy, we have Monkey D, Ruffy, Cerny, and Palisade. So that's a score. Um, good wins by England. Uh, what I what, what it's interesting is that they always sank three ships. That's that's kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> But last game was pretty close, and I think first game was also pretty close. Uh, right? Yeah, I think so. So that's the end. Um, England won this episode. Huge congratulations to everyone, and huge thanks to everyone who participated. Um, like I said in the beginning, next episodes are going to come out pretty soon. Um, if you're interested to join, join my Discord server, link in the bio. And yeah, I'm hoping to see you all there. So. I wish you a great rest of the week and enjoy your games. See you on the next video. Bye.